hi guys welcome back today in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can make the token and use it with the login and the registration api so we will use it with the laravel passport package so now let's get start and see so these are the steps that we have to change inside the apis for that and i will tell you everything the step by step so be relaxed and stay back so first of all we have to install this package so I'm just copying it and everything just clearing from here and just using this command and until this uh, uh, we are using this command uh, it will take some time uh, uh, in within this time uh, we can change the other things so so within that time we are going to uh, doing some other changes so just I'm going to open the app.php here so it will be placed in the config file and we have to just put the one line code here so just copy from here and the link of this description uh, is also given in the description box so you can uh, go through this link on with the uh, description given link also so now package is installed so now we have to use the two things one is the migration and I hope uh, uh, your database link is already uh, with the laravel and if you don't know how to we can link then you can watch the previous video also so after that uh, you have to use this migration and it will save just some uh, tables and here you can see that these are the tables and we have to change only one this table with the name of user and we can rename it also I will tell you how we can do this also so after that uh, just use the uh, password install command and it will tell you that the is the encrypted key is already exist because I already use this and in your case it will generated one also so now uh, you have to change on the user.php file which is actually the model so just go here and open this file and after that you can directly copy and paste the code and if you don't want to uh, directly paste the code then you can put them manually also so just copy from here and here also okay guys in if you want to see why the uh, these changes changing are we are doing that then I make a, a 20 minutes video which is a little bit longer is also given in the description you can watch this one also so now just uh, making the change of the auth service provider directly you can change here fine and after that this is a final change for the API here just go, go open the auth.php and here we have to just change the guard open the guard here and just make a change here and the, uh, the change changed line is here and otherwise the other things are similar here so now just we have to make the uh, API controller so first of all I'm just going to make a, a API for the registration so just go on the API and here I'm going to write a code for this and and I need to make a user controller also so I'm just going to command line going to write here php artisan make controller this one okay and uh, after doing this let's open this controller here and this controller is present inside the controllers okay so just come here and now we have to little bit made to change here so for that just uh, copy the registration api only and I'm going to remove some more things from here like the validation and all these things because I don't need for now I will tell you then uh, in the next videos I'll just make it video very simple that's it so it will return the URL and these are the inputs that coming through the output okay alright everything is set now just uh, call the api for the call the api uh, we have to make a 
uh, post API with the name of registration. So just I'm going here and just going to write here one two seven this and just like registration here. Change the post and inside the body you have to write the name. We have the four fields for that. Actually, uh, the fields are the uh, that we have to put the name, email ad address, password, and the confirm password, uh, which is uh, actually not required if you don't want the name like Anil and email like Anil at the rate test.com and password is one two three and try to hit it okay so there is some problem let's find so okay so actually we missed the something like we have to put one more thing here we actually use uh, forget to import the user inside that so just use this one and now try to hit okay uh, okay we got one more error this is seems like something wrong in the user dot header okay so I I think I just uh, something wrong within the copy so just I can remove this and now let's check it now you can see that we got the token here and let's check inside the entry so we got the entry here also with the name of this and let's say let's make a one more entry with the name of Bruce XYZ and hit here then you got the another uh, another token here and the let's check the entry we got the entry here okay so this is the first part so i don't want to be make video too much long in the next video we will uh, learn how we can make the login api with that and all these things so thanks guys thanks for watching this video